in the electrochemical cells because the reaction have to occur at the electrode surface. Then it is uh, useful to talk about like what are the modes of the mass transfer? What are the modes of the mass transfer? So there are th three modes of mass transfer in electrochemical cells. The first mode is called diffusion. Diffusion occurs by a gradient of concentration. Means that uh, if you have uh, to, for example, like we can, I'm gonna play the video later, but let's uh, watch, let's see this. If we have uh, two area in this beaker, one area has the high con higher concentration and another area has the lower concentration of the species, then the species will diffuse from the area of high concentration to the low concentration. So technically we can say that diffusion occurs from a gradient of concentration, from the gradient of concentration. If your solution have the same like concentration or so homogeneous, then you're not gonna have the diffusion, right? Because there's no gradient of concentration. So let's watch this video. So they have cold water and hot water, and then I think they're gonna drop the ink. And you can see that you don't even have to stir it. The ink kind of diffuses from the high concentration to the low concentration. The hot water, the diffusion is very fast, right? Compared to the cold water. Uh, that's all. I, I think the, uh, he also put uh, put it in the vinegar so that they can do the kind of magic, which vinegar can vanish the color of the ink. So you can see that uh, because of the concent the concentration difference, uh, there's the diffusion occurs. And in the electrochemical cells, diffusion occurs when the oxidized species or radio species is consumed at the electrode surface. So just so you know. Because when you, for example, if you have if you have O and you want it, you, you want to reduce to R, then you apply the negative potential, right? And then uh, your O will be consumed at the surface. So you have to like diffuse more R to the surface. So that's where the diffusion occurs in the cell. Let's see. So that's the diffusion. The next uh, mode of the mass transfer is convection. So convection occurs by the mechanical force, so basically stirring. So convection generally occurs from the force, but here he also he also show you that uh, the force can be generated by the heat as well. Yeah. You can think about the current in the ocean, right? That uh, that occurs because of the difference in the temperature. So this so this is the same thing. Yeah. So convection can occur because of the stirring and because of the temperature difference. Uh, that's enough, I believe. So in uh, last slide, the diffusion, they, they use the temperature just to show you like the effect of the temperature on the diffusion rate. But this one is uh, different. This one, they want, to see, they want to show you that by heating, you can also generate the mass transfer by the convection. 
I don't I didn't put the conversion by stirring because I think uh, you have seen it every day so that's why. So that's the second mode of the convection. Convection occurs by the force, physical force. I mean, the last uh, mode of the mass transfer is migration. Now, migration is uh, very interesting because this is uh, usually occurs in electrochemical cell, and because this is the thing that occurs by a gradient of electro electrical potential, it means that. This is done by the electrostatic force, basically. So your species must have the sharp, must must have sharp. So only ions can undergo undergo migration. If you have the neutral species in the solution, then it's not gonna occur through the migration. So let's see what did he or she do here. So uh, this is from China of BFD. So they have the potassium permanganate and they're gonna put the electrolyte, yeah, sodium sulfate as the electrolyte in the paper, on the paper. And then they can put it on the glass slide. Then they're gonna clip it with the external voltage. Basically they, can, they are applying the electrical voltage to the uh, field of paper, and this is very huge because it's 20 volts. And then I think uh, they are she's putting uh, potassium permanganate. And then you turn on the, the voltage source. And we are not really like stirring or uh, like, and diffusion kind of slow, right? Because it's in the paper. But now you can see that migration occurs. The manganate, permanganate ion has purple, so it, uh, permanganate is negative ion, right? It's an ion, so an ion, the an ion can migrate to the positive electrode. And potassium, you cannot see the color of potassium. Potassium will migrate through the negative electrode. I'm gonna let you see this again because it's fascinating. So again, this is the potassium to And then once uh, she turned on the voltage stars, then you're gonna see the migration. Yeah, so this is a permanent migration. Yeah. And in electrochemical cells, obviously we're gonna have some migration, right? Because uh, we apply the potential in the in the electrolytic cell, in the in the electrolytic cell or the cell that we are doing dynamic electrochemistry. We have to apply the potential. So that's why we always have the migration. All right. So let's uh, do the example 3.2. So one uh, important finding is that stirring a solution increases the rate of, of the electrode reaction. So A, what kind of the polarization is decreased by stirring? And B, which mode of the mass transfer this is caused by stirring? So A, is it activation? Oops, activation or concentration? activation or concentration and b is it diffusion migration or convection by stirring which is uh, stirring is which mode of the mass transfer diffusion migration or convection and by stirring which kind of polarization that you are decreasing is it activation polarization or is it concentration polarization? Okay, so let's do uh, the B first. So which mode of mass transfer is caused by stirring? So uh, obviously we apply the force, right? It's a me mechanical force. So it is a convection obviously, right? So B is the convection. B is convection. It's mechanical force. What about A? 
what kind of polarization is decreased? So we can go back to our uh, diagram. Uh, so we, we've learned that if we decrease the rate of the electron transfer itself, then it is activation polarization. But if we, de if we increase the rate of mass transfer, then it is a uh, concentration polarization uh, decreasing. So uh, from the information, of course, we are decreasing which one? concentration, right? Concentration polarization. Sometimes you will see people use diffusion polarization, but sometimes it's not diffusion. So that's why we just use concentration polarization. <laughs> 